The first thing that we will need to get started is the tools you will need to create your cards. Um, the very first tool is, or material, is cardstock. And cardstock comes in multiple weights and multiple colors. These are these colored ones I get from Stampin' Up! And they are 80 pound cardstock. They're very thick, very good quality. I like them very much. My white cardstock, you will use a lot of this if you're going to make a lot of cards. Um, they're good for card bases, so the very base of the card. And it's good to get a heavyweight white. The thing about white cardstock is there's no ink absorbed into it. So if you have a piece of cardstock that's 80 pound and it's colored, it's going to feel heavier than a white piece of cardstock that is the same weight. So I actually use 110 pound white and it's still not the same thickness. It's still thinner than the 80 pound colored cardstock, but it's still a good weight for card bases. And this I get on Amazon and this is a Nina. The brand is called Nina um, Bright White uh, Cardstock. The second tool you will need is a paper cutter. You don't absolutely need a paper cutter, but it does make your job easier when you are trying to cut out the card bases and all the measurements and all the layers for them. This one is by Stampin' Up. Fiskars is another great paper cutter to use that you can get at your local craft store. Usually they have a cutting arm here, a cutter with an arm. So you put your paper here just like this and you will line it up to the measurement up here and you're going to use the cutter to cut. And then you'll have um, cut cardstock. Some of them also have a um, tool uh, with the cutter that also creases the cardstock for you, which is what you would need if you need to fold it. So you would line it up to your measurements and use this, and instead of cutting, it'll make a good crisp, clean crease for you, and then you can fold it on your crease. And I think most new paper cutters will have that feature on it already. But if it doesn't, that's okay because we will come to our next tool, which is your bone folder. This is a bone folder. Um, it's usually just like a piece of plastic. And it's a tool used to make your crisp edges really crisp. Again, totally optional, but if you are going to be making several cards, I suggest investing in one. They're only a few dollars at your local craft store, and it makes your edges look really clean and professional. You could just fold it, but um, if you've ever folded heavy cardstock before, you know you can get like those little yucky lines and it just doesn't look cute, so I do recommend that you get one of these. And the last tool that basic card makers need is glue. And glue comes in many different types. You just basically get the kind of glue that you like. So this is a tape runner and this comes in many different uh, styles and um, types and brands. This one is Stampin' Up! I believe they use Tombow brand which is what you can get in a craft store too. There's also liquid glue. Liquid glue is totally fine. Um, you could also use Elmer School glue, um, but just keep in mind that that might be a little bit bumpy. This glue is actually made for paper crafts. This is the Tombow Mono Multi Liquid Glue. So if you are going to make several cards and are thinking about it, you might want to invest in a proper paper making glue. And the next type of glue, you could even use glue sticks. Again, um, if you use you know the kind that like Elmer's or something like that, it might peel apart on you. So I would recommend something made for heavyweight cardstock paper crafts like this uh, Stampin' Up! Anywhere glue stick. But it doesn't matter what type of glue you use. Um, either one of these works. There's also many different kinds in the craft store. Um, just pick one that you like, try some out, and um, have fun with it. I actually like the tape runner because it's mess-free. Um, you just apply, it's like a dry glue. You apply it, don't even need to touch it. You stick two pieces of paper together and it's good to go. So before we start making cards and start 